what's up youtube just want to do this quick video as i finally have received my chevy tracks and the active trim level I'll give you a quick outside look at it yeah it looks good the black bow tie this is the active trim level the highest trim level the reason i wanted this trim level is specifically because of these rims 18 inch i like these rims better than the 2rs model so whereas i like the inside of the 2rs i like these rims better show you side view here let's take a look at the back seat get the leather you get the privacy cover i know the privacy cover does come with the active trim and the 2rs i'm not sure about the other trims you do not get a middle section there which is unfortunate it would have been nice to have for additional cup holders or additional armrests if you decide to do a road trip or something but here's the i do love that it does have the usb c both usb c and the regular usb and a little cubby there for storage pocket only on the passenger seat no pocket on the uh, driver's seat here so that's the back. Here's a look at the front. Let's see. Shows the Chevy when you get in here. Do a quick start up. So that is the start up of it. The reason I wanted this trim also was because I want the digital display i want the 11 inch screen um and i want a push button so if you don't care about those things you can get it for way cheap uh, if you don't care about push button start you don't mind not having the 11 inch screen and having the their older software because it's the newer software on the 11 inch and you don't care about having the digital get it for an excellent deal here's the cockpit area uh forgot i do have wireless charging i won't be using that but it is available you do have usb-c regular usb port up here in the front yeah i like that it has a little slot for the phone and this little additional little section and then you got your armpit uh not armpit uh console area there i do have a sunroof in this one i do notice that it comes with the light um headliner versus the 2rs came with an all black one so that's just a matter of preference um i don't mind this because it does make it lighter in the car where it is the dark headliner and the 2rs would have made it darker so you got the active got the yellow trim there now i did see on another video they did the trim uh review of the trim and this part that was tan was yellow but in my car is tan so i don't know i do know it changes versus on the colors of the vehicle like i know for example i saw a blue somebody reviewing a blue and i noticed that line was blue so i don't know um if it's just on mine that i didn't get the yellow trim or how that works so you might this will be different that will be different but i'm glad it does not it's not bright yellow um at all so yeah you got the yellow stitch in there close up of the seats so yeah, I only had 18 miles on here. I took it off the, drove off the dealership at five miles. I didn't even take it on test drive. I had already test drove a couple already. So um, it was just a matter. I did have to put a deposit down to get this because I think if you want the higher trim levels, uh, basically the three with the push button starting the digital display, which would be the LT, the 2RS and the active, you probably will have to put a deposit down for right now but I will not pay a market adjustment. And if you can help it, I will not deal with a dealer that has um, dealer fees. I did not, I, all I paid for this was MSRP plus tax title license. So out the door, I was at 28. Actually, let me show you the, the sticker really quick. So this does have two additional things. So, which I would recommend getting. It has the sunroof package, which, you know, sunroof being out of 895, you know, unless that's not your thing. But that's pretty cheap for a sunroof, so I, I didn't mind that. Definitely wanted a package with that. But the package I recommend that you get is one with the driver confidence package because it gives you um, it gives you the blind spot, which you can see right there. So I do recommend getting that just because it does give you that blind spot and uh, the back uh, 
I'm assuming it should make a noise like someone's behind you and you're reversing. So as you can see, oh, here we go. That's the MSRP, 26,540 for the actor trim with the sunroof package, driver, driver confidence package. Out the door, I would tax title license. I was at $28,594 in three cent. So can't beat that. And that's why I decided to go ahead and go with the actor trim. I was like, the the car is cheap enough why not go for that the highest trim and finally get all the things that i want i've always wanted a car that has some roof had leather we do got heated seats so that's going to come in for when it gets cold in the winter time you know i got my black rims like i wanted the only thing i didn't get that i wanted was originally i wanted an all black car hence why you saw me in the previous video it was all black one but i um we couldn't work out a deal with that that dealership was tripping they had they had snuck in um, a market adjustment fee, which they didn't have on the itemized on the line. They kind of snuck it in the total price. And then they had 2000 dealer fees. So that's like an extra 4000 just to get that previous car when you don't have to. Just be patient, find a dealership that doesn't charge all that stuff and, you know, get it at the correct price. Because paying all the extra stuff defeats the purpose of buying a car like this because it's meant to be cheap or I should say affordable. Some some people have like a negative connotation with the word cheap. So affordable, a nice affordable vehicle, as we should say. So the only thing to get used to is this engine, which that's, that's the only, I'm not gonna say complaint, concern that people have as far as this engine. I got some thoughts, but like I said, I don't have enough miles to have a true thought. I haven't taken it on the highway yet. Uh, so I'm not gonna say anything about the engine. I will do a future video once I put more miles on here and let you know what I think about it as far as how it drives. I just noticed that I got a little Chevy emblem there. That's nice. So yeah, show you again what the back look like. So yeah, I am happy with my purchase, um, especially for what I use it for, which is being um, a car I use for, my, for, for the gig jobs. And so I'm gonna be happy using this instead of uh, my previous go-kart, the Hyundai Venue, which I like the my little Hyundai Venue too. But um, this is more this is more my style coming from what I came from with, with the Dodge Durango. So this is a little bit more of my style, you know, better on gas than my Dodge Durango. Same kind of feel. Well, not like feel, but you get what I mean. <laughs> you know, you can see me coming to this from a Dodge Durango versus going to a Hyundai Venue, if that makes sense. So, let me know if you guys have any questions. I gotta still figure out some stuff. I gotta connect my phone. I gotta figure out if I can change this display. I'm assuming I can. I just can't figure it out because, yeah. So I can't figure it out, but I will get that figured out. And yeah, let me know if you got any questions. If you plan on getting uh, a Chevy Trax, and if you are getting a Chevy Trax, which trim are you getting? And if you have one, what do you think about it so far? I think this would be one of those cars I, I keep around and go ahead and pay off. That's what I'm thinking. If not pay off, at least keep it um, three years. At least, minimum, I'm thinking. So let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time, later.